If you could only eat one kind of food, what would it be? This video is a thought experiment to, under, to help you understand the role of food in optimizing your health, getting you lean, and getting you fit, maintaining a good habit that maintains a fitter body. Uh, so if, if in this thought experiment, I'm going to ask you, if you had to choose one, two, maximum three foods that you could eat, if you were forced to only eat these foods for, let's say, the next month or three months or six months, what would you choose? You'd have to choose foods that provide you your essential nutrition. You, you, you wouldn't choose the foods that are tastiest. You wouldn't choose um, the foods that 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 that, uh, that you enjoy. You would choose the foods that provide you with the essential nutrients. And this would be your essential amino acids, the ones that are the building blocks for your protein. Your essential fatty um, acids and your essential micronutrients. You probably could last a month without with a sub suboptimal diet. But if if let's say you had to do it for six months to a year, you'd be forced to choose the foods that provide you these essential nutrients. And the reality is all the foods that you choose are going to be animal protein based. So things like red meat, oily fish will be at the top because these have all the essential amino acids that your body needs. They have essential fatty acids, which you don't need that many of, but you still need them. And they have a lot of micronutrients. And within that, within that, probably if you chose red meat, you choose beef liver. You know, beef liver is an acquired taste. You know, it's, it's, I, I only have it if it's very spicy or, or well flavored, and even then, not, not that frequently, but it has a tremendous nutritional profile. So, but purely based on your ability to, make, to sustain your body, you choose beef liver, but at least you would choose red meat or oily fish. And then at a second level, it would be, you know, things like chicken, eggs, white fish. Uh, and, and then may, maybe dairy. You wouldn't choose a plant. There's literally no plant uh, that you can choose that provides you with most of the nutrients that you need. I'm not saying a diet based around red meat and oily fish is uh, an ideal diet to, to carry out, although obviously a lot of people in the carnivore, carnivore movement do well on it. But I, I'm saying that if you, had, if you based your diet around plants, you wouldn't get very far. If you based it around um, animal protein and included plants, even if the plants formed 75% of your plate, um, you would get very far because the essential nutrients are being met by the fish, by the red meat. Um, so th this makes you think about how to move forward with your with your diet, how to optimize your diet. The, the reality is most of society's problems don't occur because we don't eat enough uh, of food. It's often we're eating too much of the wrong food. Um, a lot of situations there are obviously where we don't actually eat enough protein and animal protein could be um, could be a good source uh, to correct that problem. But also because we have such a re such a wide range of foods that we can eat, we, we tend to gravitate towards the ones that are highly processed, long shelf life. They have labels such as low calorie, low fat, plant based, low salt, all these things. And, and, and the reality is then they're, they're nutri very nutrient poor. And if you choose those to, to, as your as your food that you're going to eat for the next three to six months, guaranteed you will feel weak, you'll feel malnourished. You're not going to optimize your health. You will probably lose weight because you're losing muscle mass rather than anything. Um, but actually, what what you need instead is to choose the foods that will nourish your body. Um, you know, keep level of, uh, levels of inflammation. Um, low, allow you to, to to develop a diet where you can minimize the amount of calories that you need because your body's already been nourished by the um, uh, already been nourished by the animal protein that's in in your diet. So um, you know, have a think about have a have a think about your diet in that aspect. If you had to choose only one or two or three foods to eat, what would they be? And that will help you to plan your diet to think about how you can modify it, you know, step by step, day by day, week by week, so that most of what you, you eat is what your body needs uh, and, and not base it around simply um, uh, calories or just simply going plant based without understanding um, what that means. Uh, so let me know what you think about that and I'll see you on the next video.